If the 12 o battery is going to get every bit that it could have out of that. I found something that won't take off. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and we got a lot going on today, so let's check it out. Who says you need a Milwaukee fan when you got this thing here? This is a uh, Gen 2 high torque on speed three with a little baby battery. Baby. We're honestly just finishing up some little tweaks to what we use for the digital torque meters for the rapid torture test. So if you missed any of those videos, look up above in the cards or down below in the description. Just a little use. Let's try it one more time. All right, so all jokes aside, that Harbor Freight impact socket held up super well. Really impressed with that. Not only that, but the Milwaukee half inch drive Gen 2 high torque impact was dishing out a bunch couldn't even tell that it was really used but we were just double checking everything that we had welded up previously on our torque testing ratchet torture work bed we're gonna make this one a little bit new and improved we're gonna use some 6010 fired up the welder and we're gonna now put down a three-quarter inch drive socket that we can put our digital torque meter in directly so that there isn't as much play or wiggle in there. Not that it really, really matters, but uh, this way it's just gonna make it a little bit easier for when I do some of that ratchet torture testing. So I'm really looking forward to part two. Here you can see, you know, we're cleaning up that first pass of the welds. We're using the Milwaukee grinder again with that 12 amp hour battery, just tearing through all this. So we get that all cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and do one more pass with some 7018. Big shout out to everybody out there. Thank you guys for supporting my channel, believing in me, having a little fun while we're doing this and passing on some knowledge or again, just having a great time. So thanks Chris Jones for helping me out with all your welding skills. We're gonna clean this up one more time. And I'm really excited to go test this out, see how this new test bed performs and let's go do that. So we got the Pittsburgh Professional half inch drive breaker bar. We got our new welds, our three quarter inch drive socket, as well as our digital torque adapter. We're gonna see how this thing holds up, see if there's a lot less play in there. And this is all gonna be done by hand. There's no cheater pipe on this one. Almost broke 500 pounds there. All right, let's try it one more time. Ah, there we go. 508.1 foot pounds. Breaker bar still looking good. Everything feels nice and tight. Very, very happy with that. So before we wrap everything up here, the old way that we were using this, it was a 32 millimeter bolt just welded down. We put that impact socket on there and you could see that there's a little bit of movement. And then the other fastener here, this was welded down. This was the 28 millimeter. And that one had a lot less play in it. But now we're gonna take all of that out because we are going to go right down directly from the torque adapter into a socket. And here we can see we got the Stanley 24 millimeter USA impact socket. That's gonna be for our digital torque meter by Quinn from Harbor Freight. And then for our three quarter inch torque meter, we have the one and one quarter Stanley USA made socket there. And as you can see, we have a little to no play in there and that's gonna take out any slop that we had. But again, once everything was finally tight and ready to go, 
everything that you're just exerting is just a bunch of work. So we are all tightened up. Everything looks great. We're going to get on with the testing and hopefully we'll have a video out for you this weekend. Really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Picked up some new things here. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder. And I'll catch you in the next video.